Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to RimWorld. It's the 15th of September, and we have a band of thugs demanding another protection fee. Last time we had this happen, I declined the band of thugs, and then we went on a journey, and they came in and burned everything to the ground. I'm still going to refuse the offer, because I'm not going to be seen as an easy mark here. The thugs from Sadie seem happy about it. That's fine. They can be as happy as they want. We're going to fight to the death uh, for this town. Let's see. Corbin. We did have some herders show up from Tadira. Uh, they left, though. Because of the bad temperature. It's starting to freeze here. As a matter of fact. Hmm. It probably means all my plants are going to die. Cotton plants. I don't know how cold it will get here. Is the biggest problem. I guess we'll just have to see. If it if it turns out that I can't um, actually grow these things because of the temperature, then I'm going to be screwed. Because there's no way I can do indoor growing. Get the barracks finished. And we start moving all of the beds up there. So once I get the beds moved, then I'll try and figure out an actual layout for furniture and things like that. I, I only want real beds. In fact, didn't I bring a bunch of beds back? No, that's right. I didn't get to grab the beds for some weird reason. Ghost, what are you doing? You're not actually washing there. You're just looking like a towel. You're not actually doing it. Doing mass building orders are weird, and I think it has something to do with people... A mod called Carry the Load or Share the Load. I think it glitches them up a little bit. Build a copy. There's not going to be a whole lot of room in here. Get those two gone. And... After that, I just need to get the temple set up here. So, first thing we're going to do... What do I have? I have marble blocks. I guess I could use. I could have limestone blocks. I guess I could use. I have a ton of lumber, so that's what we're going to use. More flammable bullshit for the time being. Do I have anything that doesn't look terrible? Parquet herringbone. And that looks kind, kind of nice for a barracks. Let me check my ideology. Cult of personality. What's our style? Subjects will be happy if they notice buildings, floors, and art matching this style. The style category is just cult of personality. One more point and we can reform the ideology a little bit. Let me see if I can search for cult of personality. No. So that would be nice if it looked for the style up here. Let's see, that's totemic, totemic, totemic. Totemic might make some people happy. Rustic, rustic. Excuse me, what the heck just happened? Slaxer has gone berserk. For some reason. Kind of weird that I didn't get a note about that. Um, carrot. I can't even arrest him. Well. I mean, I shouldn't be too surprised. Can we... Try and get him. Is he? What's he want to do? He wants to kill Revy again, I think. Slaxer and Revy spoke about Pimmican. Slaxer chatted about botched surgeries with Tal. I say, I would rather we not accidentally kill Slax if I can help it. No, don't shoot him. Slaxer's rage has come to an end. Okay, everybody. Move away box let's see you've got reverse time 
Let's try that. No. Rescue and Slaxer. Here. Can you just like drop him? Reverse time. Colonist needs rescue. I know he's in serious trouble. Actually, he's not. No immediate danger. None of those gunshots actually did anything. And Box has entered a sad wonder because he craves alcohol and did not get the spell off. Are you kidding me? Now this is when we're going to be raided right here. That's what this is. Nope. Excuse me, camera. So that's what's raid loading in right now. Okay. Well, somebody... You know what? The bot will come and rescue and then... I don't even know what the hell is going on anymore. So 46 degrees... Where is this thing? So we have a heater. Let's go ahead and install it here. I'm going to get this room to about 70 degrees and put some casks in here. Build a copy of that. Or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Probably turn this uh, building... into my little brewery. I just need to get some more steel or tear it down and build it out of something else. It's already got the floor. Claim all those, uninstall those. That'll get people to bring it. The wooden brewery. Go right there. That way they can grab the hops, turn it into wart and put it back in the freezer. Try to design stuff with as little movement in mind as possible. Carrot, you can stand there. So, slacks. I don't even know what to do with you. You're a disaster. I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow when everyone wakes up and is feeling better. There's a royal tribute collector here. I don't actually have to pay any tribute because I'm not part of the Empire. The one who gives over the tribute will receive honor for fulfilling the tradition and supporting the upper houses. Helmet Harrier was visiting a grave. Dion's grave. We're going to dig up all of these buried raiders at some point. Let's see. Deep drill. I'm going to install some of this stuff away from power. I don't want it to be turned on. And then we're going to just dismantle it. Get some steel out of it. Maybe get some components. Now, can I deconstruct these? I can. One, two, three, four. I'm going to deconstruct five of them and just leave four. Clear up a little bit of space in here. It'd be nice when all of this stuff is built so I can actually see We've detected a farming work site nearby. How close? We might have to go raid it. It has a ton of lotus seeds and only four people. It's an extreme pollution, though. We might have to go do it. I mean, if we don't go raid soon, we're going to have even more buck snaps. Slaxer is no longer incapable of walking. He got his shit together long enough. Someday he will have a fake arm replacement. I just have to get to the point where I have another machining table built. Uh, I'm going to throw some floors down. Let's see. I'll do this in here. We'll do... That does take steel, but I'm going to assume I'll have some. Do that right there. This is fitting for a kitchen, obviously, but let's make it out of... It takes four per tile. Seems like a lot. So what colors do we have? Slate, marble. Marble doesn't look terrible. And then in here, 
made with no compromises for expressing economic status. I'm not going to have enough bricks to do that for a while. It's also very flammable. Wonderful. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, this place... It's quick to lay down. That's probably what I'm going to use. Okay. So, it's the 1st of December. We've turned down a group of thugs who wanted to extort protection money out of us. I expect them to show up at some point and cause problems. Uh, I'm probably going to decorate the temple because we need to get a unified emblem up and going as well as the other things. I might try and set a few more things up off camera, but I will be back soon. Well, about 30 seconds after I paused it, we got raided by the Sadi. Nyan kinds from Sadi have arrived nearby, approaching from multiple angles. They will prepare for a while and then attack. We can prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Uh, I'm gonna probably just let people sleep for the time being, as terrible as that sounds, and just fast forward time for a minute. They'll probably attack at daybreak, would be my guess. And I'm hoping that the Empire here will help me, but there's absolutely no guarantee that they will. At the very at the very least, letting people sleep in gives me a better chance of containing their mental breaks for a bit. <sighs> Five o'clock, the sun starts to crest the mountains. Okay, you know what? Everyone's starting to wake up and spread out. Let's get together. I want to attack... Nope, they're... They saw us wake up. They had a scout standing on top of the hill over here watching us. Probably with a telescope. Uh, the northern group I'm not too worried about. We should be able to take them out quick. They, they've all got pretty crappy weapons, honestly. That guy might have a crossbow? No. A willow recurve bow? It's not really any... It's still not anything to mess with. Um, let's see, what do I got? Firing Frenzy. Enable that. Everyone's here a little bit better. Group up. I try to move my group as a line. Slacks, did you just get hit? No, you're still wounded from being beat up from your crazy little escapades. They are now fleeing. That was quick. Oh, and they are getting tore up down here. Damn. Don't mess with the Empire. Uh, that's why I've never made them mad. So... You brought, brought me 357 silver. I'll take that. No good gear. Bio. I'm just gonna finish these people off. There's two of them there. And the Empire didn't take any prisoners. Looks like they gunned down four of them. Even caught one of them on fire. Okay. Well, the unfortunate thing is I still have to deal with these bodies. Uh, otherwise, they will linger around and rot, and my colonists will see them and be very upset that they are having to view dead bodies, which they honestly should be used to by now. Welcome back, folks. It's the 2nd of December, and we are being hit with a blizzard. A severe snowstorm combined with high winds can be deadly to those without proper clothing. Heavily affecting both ranged weapon accuracy and movement speed. Uh, I took the time to put some uh, campfires in the buildings because I don't have any other way to heat things. I'm going to see how many it takes to heat a room and just how dangerous they are in regards of burning things down. Probably going to burn all my buildings down. People aren't getting hypothermia yet. Uh, I also noticed that whenever I put the floors down in the rooms, 
Apparently if I had packed dirt floors in there, they had to tear the floor up. But that didn't leave the previous floor command, so now I've got to go through and like redo all of these. Say so this room doesn't actually have to look good. Get that in there. We'll do this room later. At least the temple is coming along pretty good. Twenty-eight degrees inside. Let's see how long it takes before something catches fire. Thirty-four degrees in there. And I mean the other thing is I can't really control the temperature with these things either. Cargo pods, apparel. There's a fire raging down there I'm kind of worried about. So what do we have? Sand lion fur pants and tiger leather button shirt. No. Looks like the blizzard's gonna actually put the fire out. So all this snow right here, this will make the video size massive. When I have to go upload it, and it'll probably make it look like shit. Um, I can, I'm honestly expecting most of the plants to just start dying at some point. Once it starts getting too cold, not only do they stop growing, they start taking health damage and that's it. Not growing, not growing, not growing. So it's up to 62 degrees in the temple. Can we do anything in here yet? No, because I still need steel. Unified emblem is desired. I've got an idea. Who is my best dwarf? Tal? You're my best dwarf. Just go mine out a couple chunks of this steel over here. I'm probably like in a 600 to 700 steel piece deficit right now. This thing just get hit by lightning? No. Almost. Like, I really want to tame this thing. It has a 70% chance to attack you if you tame Felony. You have one go. You have one chance, and that is it. Lightning doesn't really like what's happening down there. Uh, let me see. How many ship chunks are on the map? Just that one? I'm going to send someone to deconstruct it. They can run past the... Tyrannosaurus at some point. Everyone except Sora can find it out. Let's see, 75 in there, 83, 82 in there, so that's about right. 77. It's 35 in here. Did I even put... I don't think I did. So I, I didn't know if I wanted to put a campfire inside my storage room just seems I don't know seems like a bad idea I don't have any chem fuel or gunpowder in there but still get all these barrels placed still waiting on some of these coolers to be dismantled royal host We've been given another chance at Royal Ascent. No. Absolutely not. Ro I already have enough problems as is. I don't need to be trying to keep royalty happy too. You know what? I'll place this heater right there. It's the only electric one I've got. Uh, I decided to keep one of these deep drills because I noticed that once I place to them they don't require maintenance so once they start going they they just they keep working what am I looking at up here what is this oh there's another heater up here somewhere mounted heater let's bring this back I don't know what it's doing just sitting there bring that in here we go 
Tal, we're gonna need you again. Drop the barrel. Come get a little bit more steel. We're almost there. 50 steel, there we go. Corbin shows up to start working on this thing. It's gonna take several days, though. It's a lot of work required. So we'll start getting water pumped up. Getting my electrical system all plugged in so my lights are powered and things are actually functioning. Uh, where is my pipe system? Okay. I mean, it really doesn't need to be any more complex than that. Why am I not able to build a copy of this? This is the second or, second or third time I've tried to. And it keeps failing. What's the robot doing? Where are you going? Deconstructing ship chunk. The bravest little robot that ever did ever did exist. Tal's up there mining. The blizzard has come to an end finally. I think this thing is gonna be hunted. No, maybe not. I mean I'll be glad as it doesn't steal wardrobe title book by detachment. This furniture bears an illustration of an unfettered abstract shape. The style is heartfelt with Romanesque elements. Rest effectiveness. Let's get that. Steel end table. Get that. This one has art too. This furniture bears the artwork of Stromburr, polishing the surface of a bionic jaw while wiping the sweat from his forehead. The bionic jaw glows a soft gray. A city in the background seems to express cataclysm. This representation tells the story of Stur Storm Stromber completing work on a bionic jaw. Exciting. Uh, uninstall that. We can repair that. I'll get a vent. That way I can put it in the kitchen and the dining hall to equalize the temperatures between the two. 82 degrees. Okay, maybe the hottest it'll get is 82. Begin mutinous party. If the social festival is fun or unforgettable, you recharge mana. It's only a 40% because I don't have the proper speaker for it. Damn it. Slaxer. I think he failed while constructing that and just lost all that steel that we placed on it. I don't know what that sound is, but I don't like it. Uh, somebody's health is flashing up there. So hang on a second. Let me expand to that again. Looks like one of my items here even got canceled being built. My high tech research bench. Kind of stinks. Let's see. Heater. So maybe that'll update. Somebody is fighting. Who is hurt? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm going to assume that's a Velociraptor attacking a rabbit. It's terrible. I really wish dinosaurs were just a little bit more rare. Slaxer. Missing 33 steel, damn it. Even after all that. Helmet Harry, you're coming back with 146 steel. Scrungus. You've got the end table. Corbin has 20 steel. Ghost has the steel wardrobe. Get all this stuff hauled back up there. Even this chair has art on it. An engraving on this furniture shows a devil sheep you giving birth to a devil sheep you. You. It was glowing softly green. An architect watches from a distance. 
The work is shaded in hues of blue and black. Though few would expect it, there is a... A hematologist off to one side? I have no idea what that even is. This representation refers to the devil sheep you giving birth to the devil sheep you on the 3rd of September, many years ago. I mean, it's a nice little outpost. I'm glad that it's there for me to pilfer from. So, it's the 2nd of December. We've got snow on the ground everywhere. Most of my plants are probably going to start dying. Not ideal temperature, of course. Maybe they'll last through the winter and not freeze to death. Either way, I will see you all most likely shortly. I doubt Randy is going to give us much of a break.